Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for just a very simple, fun video. I actually did this video maybe almost a year ago, which is a what's in my bag video because that was one of those old school YouTube tags before my time here on YouTube. And I, I just felt left out and wanted to do my own version years later. And I did it as a Friday bonus video being like, nobody's gonna watch this. This is from years ago. And weirdly, y'all loved it. <laughs> So it's been a while, I have um, a new bag. I actually should watch back this video and see how many of the same contents I carry nowadays versus back then to see, you know, which, which ones stood the test of time. But I thought it'd be fun to just do an updated version of what's in my bag. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is, um, it's not overly stuffed, I would say. I would say it's essentials and a bit beyond. This video is not sponsored, but I will link as many things as possible down below for y'all. And then this bag was a gift and I love it a lot. It's um, Teddy Blake. I actually had this screenshotted on my phone forever because, okay, funny little backstory. I don't know if you guys follow Half-Baked Harvest on Instagram, Tegan, she's an amazing Instagram cook. Um, and she has a cookbook and she's just awesome. And she has a little sister who's maybe like 11 or 12, who is like a fashion, icon. She gets dressed up every day to go see Tegan in her kitchen. And she had a purse that looked so similar to this. And I was very inspired by this super fashionable 11 year old to find a purse like this. This is um, the 11 inch version of the Ava Croco. I will have the link down below and it's just gorgeous. It's real Italian leather. I had a nice handbag before this. This is my first really nice handbag and I'm not really a purse person. I don't switch through them often. So I'm planning on just using this for years to come. We open it up, it has these cute little straps and let's get going. First things on top is my phone and I recently got a new phone case that is pretty beat up. I will link this down below too. This is Bandolier. I had just like a credit card slot on the back of my um, case to fi case and then my cards fell out and I lost them. So I got this one instead because it has like a little pocket for my cards and I've actually put like 10 cards in here like my ID, my insurance. I have like a card to get into my office, all the credit and debit cards. So this is my first thing. I actually have something to go with this that I normally carry around with me. I have this little chain. Whenever I don't wanna carry my purse, I will snap this onto my phone. This is really handy if I'm gonna be pretty active, like walking around shops a lot or whatever, and don't wanna carry a whole huge purse, is then you have a crossbody, everything you need, your credit card, your ID, your phone, and then I will attach my car key onto this little hook as well and leave my purse behind. So I normally have this if I wanna like lock my purse in my trunk and go without it. Next essentials, sunglasses. <laughs> the last time I filmed this video, I was telling you guys about how it's so hard for me to find sunglasses I like. Right after the video came out, I snapped my nice Ray-Bans in half and I got them fixed and then it happened again and I got them fixed again and now they are like, they're fully different shape and they don't stay on my face. So I went ahead and got these a while ago Cannot tell you the style name, but I will find the link for these as well. Um, and I love them and Brooke loves them and steals them all the time. And recently in a vlog, I went to get him slightly different versions of these so that he could have his own, but that we wouldn't exactly be matchy matchy. And I love these. I have noticed more and more people wearing these exact same ones. And I'm like, oh, maybe this is like the style. I just kind of went in there blindly and picked one and now I'm seeing them everywhere. <laughs> Next, car keys. I've kept it pretty minimal. I used to have a lot of different keys for a lot of different things and I don't even know why. So all I have is my front door key, my car key. And this, I think I got in a subscription box. I know that this is a very small business. I really need to wash it. It's gotten kind of gross, but this is called the Fobs Key by Kat O'Neill. I found her Instagram once before and I will link it again. And this is really handy for when I take Max on a walk and just take my keys somewhere. So I have a lot of different little hacks for being able to just take my essentials along. And that has been very handy. Next, of course, a mask. I always have at least a few masks on me. <laughs> These have been my favorite and Everlane I don't think is selling them anymore, but for a while when we thought we were phasing out of masks, they put these on sale. And so I got a couple extra packs of them. And then obviously everyone needs masks again. So 
I got a really good deal on these. These fit me really well. They're very comfortable. They're easy to machine wash. I also see these everywhere. I hope Everlane brings them back because they are by far the comfiest ones I've ever found. Let's see, this is not glamorous. I have an EpiPen. Is it? No, yeah, it's good for a while until 2022. But um, this is because I go get allergy shots every single week. I go get three shots and then they monitor me for 30 minutes. And this is in case I either can't stay the full 30 minutes or have a reaction after I leave. Um, I don't think I'll ever need it, but it's just in case. And I like to keep it in my purse in case I'm ever in a situation where someone else needs it. Hopefully I could help save a life. I don't know, is that legal? I think it is. This is my second bottle of this. This is the Daily Drops by uh, Equilibria. There's two CBD brands I like. One is Be Token. They have um, like a stress blend capsule that I really like. And then this has just been easy to take because you can kind of customize how much is in your dropper. And um, I have found that it has helped me a lot. If you guys know, I've had a really hard month the last, well, month and a half probably between health things and emotional things. And I have found that this helps me mellow out a little bit. And then, let's see, we have a couple scrunchies. This one is from GU Box, which is a really great subscription box of like indie beauty stuff, love them. And then this was a pack from Anthropology. I actually need to buy more of these because just like face masks, it's so easy to lose hair ties. Um, but I love these because they come in a pack of neutrals and um, since it's the little scrunchy, silky material, it helps to not leave a crease in my hair as much. Normally buy a pack of these every couple months whenever I've found I've lost them all again. And I think it's about time. This might be, this might be my remaining one. I sometimes throw them in these desk drawers. Oh, there's my earphones. Normally these are in my purse and I was checking because I couldn't find them. Wow, I've been missing these for a week. Looking for my scrunchie and found these instead. Well, these are my little earphones. Love these, I've talked about these in vlogs before because they're super compact. And honestly, they're just way cheaper than like AirPods or anything and have a lot of the same benefits. And it's really cute little keychain rechargeable case. Um, wow, I'm so glad I found those. Put those back in my purse now. We're getting down to a lot of little makeup-y things. In the year of us all being very mindful about germs. I've started always carrying a hand sanitizer and it's one of those like little luxuries, little joys to have a hand sanitizer that smells really good and encourages you to actually want to use it. This one's my favorite. It is probably the cheapest thing at all of Aesop. But for hand sanitizer, it's probably a splurge. I think it's like five or six dollars, I don't know. But this is the Aesop hand sanitizer. This has mandarin rind, rosemary leaf, and cedar atlas. And it's just like clean and bright and fresh, but also a little bit woodsy, earthy. Oh man, I'm gonna actually use a little right now. I'm at home so I could just go wash my hands. But this is how much I love this stuff. I love Aesop. Well, I normally always have an emergency snack. I was making fun of my mom who does this and then I was like, oh my gosh, my grandma does this also. So I guess this is genetic to always have an emergency snack with us because I do get hangry sometimes. And this is a kid's snack. People will probably look through my purse and think I have kids, but I don't. <laughs> but I love these because they're just tiny. They're just like enough to tie you over. And they're also sweet and they're clean ingredients and they're gluten-free. It's a cinnamon swirl lara bar and it tastes like a cinnamon roll. But you know, I don't think it's a ton of sugar. Let's see, 10 grams. Okay, that's more than I thought. Oh, we have a hair clip. These are also from Anthropology. I love these. Anthropology has the best hair accessories. Like they're, they're really killing the game. Let's see, too much? Yeah, too much. And then, of course, ibuprofen. Can't live without it. <laughs> Use this for many aches and pains. Glad I have that. Here's some of the makeup-y things at the bottom of my purse. Let's go through these one by one, shall we? This I love so much, but I wish it didn't run out so fast. This is the Merit Brow Gel, and it's like a tiny little mascara wand, and I have found that if your eyebrows are in shape, you feel so much more put together even if you're not wearing like any other makeup, just having them brushed at least in the same direction. So I normally have one of these on hand, but it does run out really fast, but it, it works really well. I have a mini one of these. Um, I also, let me get my makeup drawer. I have a big one of these in my makeup drawer and I bought a mini one of these to have in my purse. This is just a way that I feel like makes you look very awake and refreshed. It is, um, it's called the Eau Blues Rosy Drops from Drunk Elephant and has omega fatty acids and apparently a sap and wood bark, haven't heard of that, but it's kind of like a cream blush meets highlighter meets skincare all at the same time. 
So I found just adding a little bit, I'm already kind of wearing some today. My makeup is still fresh, but on the days that my makeup isn't fresh, this is just a very natural way to add a little color to my skin and add a little bit of like dewiness highlighter to my skin also. So between the brow gel and this, I can feel pretty cute with very little effort on the go, you know? Now I probably have too much on. <laughs> Where were we? Lip products. I love clear lip products. This is the Lila B. I think they call it the Lovingly Lip Treatment Oil. This is what I'm wearing today. I never wear color on my lips, hardly ever. I just like clear glosses. And this one is great. It smells delicious. And it gives you a very puckery lip. And then this one is almost gone. This is the Summer Fridays lip, I think they call it lip mask or lip butter balm. This one's a lot thicker, a little bit stickier, but works really well as like an overnight lip mask or the days your lips are really dehydrated. And then this is the Glossier Balm.com. I have found the colors don't really matter too much um, in terms of this is technically like a rose colored balm, but I don't think it makes a difference in pigment on my lip. If anything, it's just very, very simple, very easy to just, I guess I'm layering lip products today, throw on on top of your lip. It's basically Vaseline with rose oil, I think, is pretty much all it is. And we're almost done here. We have gum. This has been my... <laughs> gum flavor since childhood. This was the gum flavor my parents bought. I don't know why, I've just never really branched out. Um, but this is just the Trident original flavor that doesn't even have a name. It's kind of spearminty, kind of a little bit pepperminty, kind of just a mix, a little vanilla-y, I don't know. There's a NBA VIP experience that I could watch and win on this one. And, oh, yep, there's a pen. Whenever I don't have a pen, I regret it. So it's nice to have a pen. <laughs> <laughs> There's some really great little internal pockets in here, but I don't think I have anything in them actually because this is a newer purse So I haven't really stashed anything away. Okay. Well, this was fun. This was quick. This was casual. This is what's in my bag This is what's in my bag <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Like I said, I'll try to link all these different things down below um, The purse the phone case the glasses and all the little things I love y'all with my whole heart. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and doing just a just for fun video. I hope you all have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?